All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word of truth and sincerity for rule of well. And salutations to my fellow Atom across the four quarters of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh, from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is on uh, inflation and strengthflation. All right? Strengthflation. All right, what is strengthflation? Okay, let's look at the definition first before we get into the crux of this lesson. It's going to be real quick. Lord willing to be edifying. Uh, the word for strengthflation, <clears throat> all right, definition for strengthflation, I had it up here. It says, is an economic, an economic shrinkflation, also known as the grocery shrink ray, deflation, or packet downsizing. Is the process of items shrinking in size or quantity, or even sometimes reformulating or reducing quality while their price remain the same or increase? Okay, and that's what you got going on throughout America, and actually the whole Western world at this point. You know, prices remain the same or higher, but the items you get are less. And this, um, this was inspired by a video I saw the elder Ricardo Quam did a short video about inflation you know and um this is going to be well this is already countrywide okay and this is a sign of the town the times that we're in the downward uh spiral of the american economy and it says the item this is from um wdsu news okay and it says uh the items on your grocery list that are being impacted by stringflation. Let's play this video real quick. Rising costs are evident everywhere. With inflation at a 40-year high, Americans are feeling the pinch of higher prices. But some price hikes can be harder to spot, disguised from consumers by creative packaging. Maybe yeah, because they want to keep the people's confidence in the economy up high. So they, they know inflation is happening. But what they want to try to do is to try to keep the confidence in the buyer. But hey, people are being affected. Ever heard the term shrinkflation? Uh, no. Everyday products where the price stays the same, but the package gets smaller. Shrinkflation has been going on for decades. Consumer advocate Edward Worski says shrinkflation, or what used to be known as product downsizing, is more common during times of inflation. It really does come in waves, and unfortunately, we're in the middle of a big wave right now. The price is going up, and I think companies want to do the most to make sure it looks like they're not the ones that are rising their prices. Worski highlights examples of manufacturers putting less product in a package. We always used to buy half a gallon of orange juice, and it went down to 59 ounces, and it went down to 52 ounces, fewer sheets in a roll of paper towels, or maybe an ounce less cereal in a box. That little one ounce multiplied by tens of millions is big bucks in their pocket and out of your pocket. With some manufacturers, it's in the shape of the package, like this jar of peanut butter. If you look at the bottom, there's now an indent on the bottom of the skippy jaw that's, in essence, dead space. Gatorade comes in 32-ounce bottles. They're now 28 ounces. Look for the one that kind of has a waistline on it. That's the one that's four ounces shorter. It's rare, but sometimes you can even find examples of downsizing side by side on a store shelf, as we did with this pressed toothpaste. The older version had 4.1 ounces in the tube. Now you get 3.8. Same price, but 7% less toothpaste. Yeah, so they're robbing the consumer. They're robbing the consumer. It says slim down toilet paper, fewer cookies in a bag, less conditioner and, sque and squeeze tubes. The changes are subtle, subtle in Esau. He's a really subtle person and might evade less discerning shoppers. But retail industry experts say we could see more consumer products start shrinking in size or quantity or both because of rising costs. And not only that, but also to quality of the item. All right. And you've seen that going on day in and day out. All right. This is an article, another article that I got uh, from the insider. It says, take a look at how companies hide rising costs by shrinking the size of everyday products from toilet paper to candy bars. Okay? Okay, and you, okay, we got examples of that. Walmart great value paper towels dropped 
from 168 sheets per roll to only 120, while the price stayed the same. You ever notice, uh, you ever notice you use an item like, damn, why is it already done? Because of the strengthflation. You know, Doritos, the same thing. Frito Lays just shrunk a regular bag of Doritos from 9.75 ounces to 9.25 ounces. Both are currently for sale at Target for the same price, man. And you're getting robbed. Okay, and this goes this goes to second address, 16 to 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap because you can still afford these items. Uh, inflation is happening, but it hasn't impacted you on a higher level, but it will. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. So people think that they're in a good case, but they're not. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what's happening. And it's going to get even worse when they start rationing. When that MOTB gets, when that MOTB gets uh, instituted and they start rationing items. A lot of the stuff that you thought you could get for no problem, you ain't going to be able to get. Now you got to buy more to get the same, uh, you know, you got to buy more of the same product to get what you want you to have, man. And it's only going to get worse. I, I, yesterday I bought a, a roll of toilet tissue, a pack of toilet tissue, man. And it was like I bought two rolls, man. A pack of four looked like two rolls of tissue, man. Okay. And so people are being affected. Strengthflation is hitting at an all-time high, all right? Strengthflation, inflation, these things go together, all right? Okay, and like that, that devil said, hey, when you uh, when you take, it might look like a, uh, is it devil? yeah, this devil right here, he said it, it, it might look like it's nothing, but when you multiply it by millions, man, it's more money in their pocket and less product in your cabinets, man. All right, stringflation is here, inflation is here, and just prepare for even more. It's not waning; it's going to get worse. Okay, let's definitely say shalom on to the next.